Hello everyone and welcome back to Beacon Pines. That's odd. There's not even any uh, there's not even any cups for the water. You can do it! <laughs> A hallway to nowhere. What's going on here? This this area is set up like solstice for the NES. Oh. Oh, hello, Solomon. Okay, now we know what's the deal with you, or what the deal is with you now, Luca. What are you doing here? It's a long story. Are you okay? No, I am most certainly not okay. Some sort of uh, strange people grabbed me, and... Were they in hazmat suits? Yes, how'd you know? They brought me here and locked me up in, uh... When, the, oh, when they were distracted, I ran. Dang, okay, you should stick with me. We've got a plan. We? Yeah, Rolo and Beck uh, are headed to, uh, to deep engineering. Thank heavens you found me. We've got to get out of here. We can't leave yet, but they'll catch us again. I've got to do something first. When you were running, did you happen to see a doctor a door marked to the founder? Founder, why are you looking for him? I'm not. I just need to get into that office. Not that um now that you mention it, I do think I saw a door that said founder. It was down this way. Office to the founder. Knocking comes with consequences. Oh here it is. So it is. It's pretty lucky that I ran to you, or else I might have missed it. Truly fortunate. Locked? Regrettably, it seems to be some sort of electronic lock. I don't see how you or we could possibly defeat a lock like this. Defeat is a weird verb to use for opening a door. <laughs> Let's just wait a minute. Oh, she is ready to cause some havoc. I don't know what sort of funny business you're up to, but I like it. Wait, we could have had anyone do that. <laughs> Howdy, good afternoon. What timing? <laughs> How did they know that, that that circuit breaker on the outside would open a door here? <laughs> How would you do that? It's good to have friends. Quick, let's go, uh, let's get inside before someone spots us. Luca switched on his walkie-talkie. Rollo, I'm in. As expected, there's a control panel. Great timing. We're stuck at the uh, at a locked door marked two four six zero one. Need you to get us through. That's a lot of rooms. What if someone catches us? We could uh, we should get out of here. I'm not leaving my friend, Solomon. On the computer screen, a green cursor blinked in a password field. Surely you don't have a way to get around the password. Hmm. His best guess, underground secrets. <laughs> sea salt ice cream. <laughs> Columns of green numbers glowed on a black background. How did you just guess that? Oh, it's this absurd password Rolo heard when uh, he was down here before. It's funny how someone, uh, someone arrogant enough to call themselves the founder uses such a basic password. Or they were thinking several moves ahead, not expecting anyone to guess something so simple. These villain types always end up outsmarting themselves. Into a half -smile. Your powers of deduction are, impre are as impressive as your luck. Brother, I think uh, this should do it. Bingo, bango, doors open. Look like you never failed to impress. What is that slippery lout even doing down here? We have a friend whose mom is in trouble. We're uh, here to get her out. I see. Look, I think we're close. The next door is marked three one three eight zero six. Maybe this one opens the lock. Crap, we got company. 
Look, I must go faster. One sec, I can't think of all this noise. Here it is, uh, 13806, go. Curse my fumbling hands, my apologies, Luca. Don't beat yourself up, I know you're just trying to help. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. No water cups. Rolo. I thought he was gonna, like, use that to throw it at him, at them or something. Rolo, are you okay? Rolo, come in. You can turn off the alarms, they're trapped. He called into the hallway. That, my dears, is a dead end. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Why is it the frickin' back rooms down there? What is it with all those weird hallways and rooms? Rolo, where are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I think we lost him. Making, uh, making our way back to Nelly's office. Okay, you two rabble rousers are coming with us. Nope. Oh, just kick him in the balls! Wait! Make a break for it. That little shit just kicked me. Don't stand there after them. Have we ever heard him swear before? Wait. Okay, I think that worked. Roxy and Fitz have uh, them on a wild goose chase. I am, I am having trouble following what just happened. Like I said, it's good to have friends. Rolo, how long do you think Roxy can distract them? How long can uh, Roxy keep someone so pissed off that they can't see straight? Let's just say we've got time. I'm entering Nelly's office now. Mom. Oh, honey, what did you do to your hair? I thought you'd be happy. I finally used uh, the uh, Young Chemist lab kit. You sure have a knack for making me incredibly proud in the most frustrating ways. We need to get you out of here. We? Who is your adult friend? Oh, I'm not an adult. Adult. Ever heard of growth spurt? <laughs> I've had... I had more of a growth spew. Now, don't ever say growth spew again. That's not possible. Substantial banding on the enamel of the morals consistent with Tempest Liquamine exposure. Is that what you call the gunk that for they forced me to drink? You drank it? Oh no. They told me it was only being tested on plants. Oh, Beck, sweetie, I promise I didn't know. Mom, what the hell is going on with this place? I was brought here to work on the discovery of a lifetime. A novel chemical compound was discovered under Beacon Pines, in a wellspring they call the Source. They name it Tempest Liquamide. It pulls energy its uh, from its surroundings in order to fundamentally alter matter's relationship to time! <laughs> it was the secret to Valentine's fertilizer. They harvested the source, infusing small amounts of Tempest liquamide into the product. It worked wonders, drastically accelerating plant growth. Crops would have uh, would be ready to harvest in a fraction of the time, but it led to complications: the foul harvest. Perennial harvest came in uh, to clean up the mess, to succeed where Valentine failed. But Tempest liqu uh, liquamide is rebellious. Rebellious. You can think of it as a manifestation of change itself. It's volatile by its very nature. So the more you try to force it to do a specific thing, the more it resists, yes. I can relate to that. My role is to finish work on, on the work of my predecessor, Dr. Prescott. Pres Prescott, I still don't know how to say that. Harness liquid uh, Tempest liquid mine to reliably manipulate an organism's age. Just imagine how many people we could feed. Mr. Kerr was very insistent that we achieve a successful result before today's festival. But you didn't, right? You know how much I love a good puzzle. I poured myself into the problem. It wasn't long until I discovered oddities in Dr. Prescott's notes. Oddities? They contained obvious errors, mistakes that someone of his reputation would never make. So I fixed them, and... And now I got to replace... Now I get to replace my entire wardrobe. I really am truly sorry. Man, those clothes were all hand-me-downs anyway. It sounds like Dr. Prescott figured it out, got cold feet, and intentionally sabotaged his own work. I considered the possibility. I have sent a letter asking him to clarify his thinking. Mom, Dr. Prescott is dead. Curse had Kerr killed him. What? I overheard him talking about it on the radio. It's why we gotta get you out of here. I just... like now. Wait, the vial. I finally solved the chemical equation allowing direct control of aging. 
Mr. Kerr picked it, uh, picked it up just before you came. All the more reason we gotta hightail it. Look, uh, we've, uh, we've got Dr. Mo um, Mudwill heading your way now. Roger that, be careful. Alright, everyone's on, everything's on track. And what is your escape plan? We'll go over everything when, uh, when they get here. In the meantime, maybe we can dig up some more info. I'm really sorry you got dragged into this mess, Solomon. You needn't worry about me. Well, I feel bad either way. We're gonna get you out of this, I promise. Malice 80 proof whiskey. A hard drink for a hard man. Wow, even his alcohol is arrogant. I should just smother you right now. What's what's that? I said I shouldn't bother you right now. Don't be silly. You're no uh, you're no bother at all. Let's see what else this bad boy has on it. Security system. Time card logs. Payroll. You know, for being so evil, this this guy sure is boring. Just you wait, huh? Oh, nothing. I was gonna say. <laughs> For someone so evil, you pay well. I think that would have been really funny. <laughs> Dang, this must be uh, the, the good stuff. They're all locked. Perhaps he's not as careless as you suspected. It looks like the founder was helping Kerr plan the festival. Well, why would such a secretive leader be so obsessed with a party? Only time will tell. Hand up to the ashtray. Still warm. You must have been in here recently. They heard the trampling of frantic footsteps from the hallway. Lock it, lock it. Locked. That was close. When we left Nelly's office, it was swarming with the clipboards. We barely got away. Did they follow you? Rolo. Before we start tossing blame around, it is pro uh, possible someone ordered a pizza. <laughs> we love uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Definitely not pizza. But now, don't look at me. I'm officially retiring from the heisting business. We're so sorry for the inconvenience. We just have a few quick questions. Just let me think. Can someone watch the door? Of course. Oh, he's gonna unlock it. Everyone else, huddle up. I think uh, this little caper has gone on long enough. Solomon, no. Hush now, child, the adults are speaking. Dr. Mudwell, a brief reintro uh, reintroduction is in order. We've never met, a, a, met in person, but we have corresponded. You see, it was I who hired you. Solomon, the pathetic orphan child, the powerful and enigmatic founder. Sharper, the fallen pro uh, progenitor who created this town. Burning the harvest Valentine fertilizer, all connected by a single thread yours truly. But that's the floor in thought. Solomon watched eagerly, waiting for the flicker of epiphany. With a sickened look, she peered into his soul. Yes, now you get it. Tempest Lickomite, you discovered how to reverse the process. With genuine delight. <laughs> very good, Dr. M uh, Mudwell, very good. Though the discovery wasn't intentional. And the effects went a little too far for my taste. That's why you needed me to finish uh, Dr. Prescott's work, which you did admirably. Mr. Kerr, the vial, please. With a theatrical twirl of the hand. May I present you the eighth wonder of the... the vial from Kerr's palm. Wow, this stuff sounds pretty valuable. Be careful, you fool. You have no idea what you have in your hands. Actually, we do. You just did a whole evil villain monologue thing about it. Gosh, maybe I'll have a taste. Seize him. Luca. Over here. Move another inch and I'll smash it. You have no plan. I'll smash it, I swear. Fine, risk killing us all. Or if you're lucky, nothing happens. Then what? 
We got capture you and grant you much less leniency. But I give you my word, if you hand it over, none of you will be harmed. You're a smart girl, Beck. But there's no shame in being outwitted by someone smarter than you. We both know there is only one way this ends. I think we're about to get another big choice here. That's a good girl. No, apparently. Beck, don't do it. We can't trust that jerk. I'm sorry, he's right. Mr. Kerr, you have allowed yourself to be humiliated by a group of children. Report to my office tomorrow for a performance review. Of course, sir. But first, you have a speech to make. Trot out there and give me, um, the introduction I deserve. And don't forget to smile. Yes, sir. And I think all of this, um, is, is thanks to the efforts of Mr. Von Horn. I understand, how is this all because of me? I said Mr. Von Horn, silly child. Dr. Walt Von Horn. Your father was always a thorn in my side. I offered him an opportunity to be a part of something great, but the fool was blinded by righteousness. He even broke into my laboratory in an attempt to sabotage my work. But the universe had, had a fun, has a funny way of correcting course. By meddling with a force he didn't understand, Walt showed me his true potential. As fate would have it, Luca, your father's dying act was to grant me eternal life. Well, that's my cue. After the festivities and my subsequent ascension, I will return to duel of you all. Until then, I suggest you use this time to reflect on your magnitude, the magnitude of your failure. You three keep, uh, keep post outside the door. Oh crap. Um, okay. I can't believe Beck sold us out like that. I'm not sure she had any other choice. So what now? What's the plan? I don't have one. Of course you do. You always have a plan. Rollo, you just need some time. Rollo, it's over. We lost. Was staring at the floor, deep in thought. Sorry, Luca. Give me a minute to calm my mind. Hey. I'm sorry. She should have just smashed it. I did what I had to. I know, it's just we were so close. I've got a feeling that eventually Solomon will get what's coming to him. Time wounds uh, all heals. I don't think that's how that, that phrase goes. Well, time, se uh, time seems like less of an issue for him now. Look, there's something you should know. After Mr. Kerr locked me in that office, I had nothing uh, but time and curiosity. I poked around a bit, hoping to find a, a means of escape, but I found something else. A note hidden in a false drawer. What sort of note? Dr. Prescott must have sensed his time a perennial harvest was growing short. So he left behind a letter with the hope of, his, of uh, hope it would be found by his successor. It was a confession of sorts. He left it for me, but, it, but its contents... Look, I think they were meant for you. Why? What, uh, what, did you, what did it say? It was about an incident with your mother. Dr. Prescott found her in his lab with a stolen keycard. There was an accident. She had been exposed to extreme amounts of, of Tempest Lickleman. Yep, and we know what, what, what that relates to. Did she... is she... She, survi she survived. Dr. Prescott decided to help her recover. He no longer trusted Perennial Harvest, so, uh, so he kept his whereabouts a secret. Over time, your mother led him to reconsider the purpose of scientific discovery. Science is often as a, at the vanguard of change, but that doesn't mean it's always right. He realized that no one should have control over something as powerful as time itself. I now, I now believe that um, that's why he began to intentionally sabotage his own work, and it cost him his life. That's a reasonable conclusion. With Though she's alive, where has she been? Where is she now? A sudden explosion sounded from the hole. Chapter 8. Comeuppance. Ears still ringing. Gran picked herself up off the ground. Through the dust and smoke, she looked over to see Mrs. Fratelli helping Hiram Tolliver to his feet. 
She'd had to beg, borrow, and steal to acquire those explosives. How many nights had she spent visualizing how she'd use them to make things right? And now, her one shot at destroying the source, that damned hole that swallowed so much of her life, was gone. Traded for this jagged hole in a wall and a foolhardy shot at rescuing Rollo. With Fratelli and Tolliver at her side, she stepped through. It was a strange feeling. The last time she'd stalked this maze of hallways, it was in a different body. They quickly rounded a corner to find a group of clipboards guarding a door. Something worth guarding is probably something worth seeing. She leapt forward, brandishing her cane. If her last chance at vengeance for things lost was truly gone, she would just have to fight to keep what she still had. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Graham, what are you doing here? Luca, what are you doing here? We're here to save Nelly. We're here- oh. We're here to save Rollo. Hey, Miss Lucas Grin. That's awfully nice of you, <laughs> but I'm fine. Oh no, what did they... Grin, there's no time to explain. We have to go now. Come on, everyone, we've got a party to crash. They made their way out from deep within perennial harvest, just to solve that felt quite sudden. <laughs> like a lot of things in this game, I don't know. <laughs> Was that technically a Deus Ex Machina? No, that was, that was that was first out a little bit, right? Yeah, whatever. Thankfully, we can dispense with the formalities from here on out. We've got to stop him. No. Well, I guess that's it. We lost. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh! With a little... Jump... Three options this late into the game. That's a bit of a surprise. Can't wait to see the look on his face when he realizes he drank his own cigar ash. How did ash get into the, into the vial? It was pretty easy to mess with uh, the vial when it was behind my back. Oh, that's sneaky. Well, it's a bad habit anyway. I always said bad habits are like 50 yard field goals. Huh? Hard to kick. <laughs> God damn it! You can call me Sharper Valentine. <laughs> oh my goodness! Looks like it aged him too much. Well, that's one way to kick a bad habit. As the last <laughs> Valentine wafted into the air, the crowd began to disperse, still numb from what they had just observed. Sharper Valentine was gone for good. His end would be a new beginning for Beacon Pines. A new chance to let go of the things they had lost and grab hold of a new future. The end. Okay, so these failure routes are short. Said that wasn't a bit gratifying. <laughs> like a good note to end on, I won't stand in your way. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good art. Tweaked his wonder potion with a little change. Like pocket change? Your unlucky penny. Yeah, I plopped in the vial when no one was looking. What's that going to do? No idea. That's the beauty of science. Now we observe. His body and face. Oh! Holy crap, he's a baby. Yeah, but he's still sharper, right? 
What he was no longer matters. <laughs> this is an innocent child. Look at his expression. <laughs> I apologize for all, all of the harm my father has caused you. But can we have this art without the text box in front of it? This might make for a good thumbnail. Augustus, what do we do? That'll do. We do what Valentine's always do. What must be done. I'll hurry home, prepare a crib for father. Young Sharper. That would be great help, thank you. Okay, everyone, the show is over. You may leave now. Wait, epilogue? Was that like the end end? They kindled a hope for a better future in their hearts. When spring arrived, farmers planted their crops with a sense of joy and optimism. And as the dawn of the first day of summer came again, its light slowly spread through the shallow valley. It crept over the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, and came to rest on a young boy sleeping at dawn, his mind at peace, knowing he is here for a reason. Oh, wow, that really was it, huh? I don't know why I was expecting something a little more climatic, honestly. Also, of course that would be the final one, actually, because, you know, at the very start of the game they said this was a story about change. That's a good way to, to like, wrap the whole thing up. Mom, I'm ready to go now. You go on without me, I'll, ne I'll meet you there. I've got a batch of jam to finish jarring. It's funny. I only started making jam as a way to send messages without anyone noticing, but now I enjoy it. Alright, I'll go say hi to Rolo first. I heard you and Rolo have big plans for that little treehouse. Yeah, it started getting crowded after we revoked the max capacity one Rolo and Luca rule. So we decided to expand, but at least we've got some help with that. How's the internship at Nelly and I um, I Iona's shop going? It's been great. I'm hoping it helps me get into the School of Agriculture up at the state. Also, Nelly said she'd, uh, she'd write a letter of recommendation, which would be huge. I just can't help but worry about leaving Rolo. He's grown up so fast, but he's still my little brother. It's still weird to me how, like, little of a big deal that is to the family, but... Like... God, there's a lot of stuff that just happens in this game and no one questions it. I don't know, man. Yeah, he had a heck of a growth spurt. I don't just mean grown literally. This morning he was up and finished his chores before even having breakfast. Well, some of that might have been his excitement about the treehouse renovations. Don't tell him this, because it'll go to his head, but I'm really proud of that little punk. I'm sure he feels the same way, but he's uh, just too darn proud to tell you. I know. Oh my god, this song is going crazy! What is this music? What do you have to say? Hey Gus, how's the tree planting going? You look happy for once, couldn't be better! I'm so grateful uh, to Iona and Nelly for letting me help. I just wasn't built to be mayor. Too much bureaucracy. Gus, we finished cleaning up the sidewalk. What's next? Huh. Anything with a knack for art can help paint the new uh anyone with a knack for art can help paint the new offices. You can count on us. Looks like you <laughs> I can't get over their fucking runs. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like you really found your calling. I never really felt comfortable telling people what to do. Now this right here. This is something I can be proud of. That's nice. How's the napping this morning? The most underrated part of a good nap is the view. And the view's getting greener every day. Nice. 
I see you decided on, on the name. Oh, they renamed the building. Well, your head is in the way, so I'll see it in a second. Yep, we had to clear out all the old stuff before putting on the final touch. Slow and dirty is not fish. <laughs> I like it. It was actually Nelly's idea. There's still a lot of work to do, and the name serves as a reminder. Just because progress is important doesn't mean change uh, should happen fast. In fact, I've learned that the more you care about something, the more important it is to, it, it, important it is to take things slow. Our motto is go slow and fix things. Ahem to that. That's a good moral for the game to have. Oh, I was expecting the game to let you explore the rest of the town and talk to everyone out the game is over. Look, I get this. I managed to reel in an actual fish this morning. Seriously? Yeah, and honest to goodness. Flip flop and swim swap and fish. I don't think I've ever caught an actual fish here. Been at least seven years since I've caught one. I'd say it's a good omen. What did... Seven years? How old are you? Wait, what'd you do with the fish? Oh, I release it back into the pond. I'm hoping to catch it again tomorrow. Ha! Huh! A little higher. Yep. A little lower. Yep. A little higher. Yep. I'm telling you. The angle isn't the issue. We need the we need more power to that radio. Look at there you are. Would you uh, tell him it's not the angle? Hey, I'm not in charge of uh, of antenna redesign. Fine, Iggy, just don't do anything drastic until we get back. Who me? Uh, when uh, you're in charge when I'm gone. Yep. <laughs> also, okay. Speaking of Iggy, a little bit of a funny story. You know, like, Steam collections, or those little, like, folders you can do for your own Steam library? I made three, um, folders recently as a joke, just because I thought it'd be funny to try and, like, pick out games that have these. One of them is called, like, Features Jerboas, Features Sheep, and Features Seals. My three favorite animals, and I'm just, whenever I see one of these now, I'm gonna, like, drop... Whenever I see one of these three animals in a game now, I'm going to drop them into one of those folders. This is one of three games that's in the Features Jerboas folder right now, because Iggy's a Jerboa. <laughs> you know what the other two are? <laughs> Sonic Mania, because Fang's a Jerboa, and Putt-Putt enters the race. <laughs> so that's random. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. If we really want Mission Control to turn into something bigger and better, we uh, we have to loosen our grip a bit. You're right. Lead the way. Check in with Beck at her house. Hmm. Oh, the game. I guess the game is gonna let me uh, explore everything now. Yep, kind of looks like it. Okay, in that case, I think we'll leave it off here. We're at about a half hour. I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.